Hey loves, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. It is 2020 and I am so excited to be back on YouTube. We did Vlogmas and we took a little break and now I am excited and feeling refreshed and wanting to make a video. My goal this year is to do one once a week. So hopefully we can build it up to two times a week. Um, but I really love creating on this uh, platform. You guys know I generally create a lot for Instagram and my blog um, because we are relaunching my blog and a new name and all that fun stuff. Um, I just really want to get back into things that I really love and YouTube brings me a lot of joy. So I am super excited to be coming on here a lot more. So you'll be seeing my face here. Um, so today I just kind of wanted to ease back in to YouTube and into my channel and do a little favorites video. You could call this a January favorites. You could call this a winter haul. Um, either way, it's just an accumulation of some home, beauty, office, fashion, kind of just like a mix of everything of what I've been loving lately. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so since it is 2020, I love to start the year off with a planner. I love planners. I love notebooks. I love stationery. If you don't know, I have um, my own uh, kind of like a stationery shop. We sell mostly wall art and prints um, called For Such a Time Shop. But I love and appreciate um, like a good notebook or a journal or a planner. Um, and this one I actually got, uh, a, I believe it was in the summertime actually from Urban Outfitters, but they still have them. And I love the leopard, love the little blue ribbon here. This is a daily planner so you can put like the day the month today's objective notes your to-do list um, and then like a timetable which I really love um, and then another fun thing that I got was this woman with a plan 2020 planner and I picked this up at Target back in November so I don't believe the create uh, and cultivate planners are still available but they have so many other ones um, that you can definitely choose from so this is a monthly one and it's for goal setting you have a little area for a vision board a monthly recap and your side hustle it comes with like fun stickers in here um, and so like just to kind of like show you how it's like broken down you have like basically a, like a vision for each month of what you kind of want to accomplish there's like tips for like saving money um recounting your wins follow-ups roll over of like what you didn't get done that month so i just like love something like this to like keep me reflecting keep me focused on things that i want to achieve monthly um and so planners are definitely my go-to and my favorite little thing uh to uh splurge on just just in the beginning of like December, um, I start kind of like looking for my 2020 planner. So it's really exciting and fun. And then I love like January 1st or maybe like a few days later because I'm not always right back to work on January 1st, opening it up and um, writing down things that I want to do. It gets me really excited and pumped. So love these. I'll link some similar ones down below that I love. Moving on to beauty. I feel like I get really into beauty stuff around like December. I love doing more eyeshadow looks and just kind of just getting into it more. I like playing with it a little bit more. I have like some false lashes on today. Um, I don't know. I think it just kind of like brightens up your face and it just kind of makes me feel a little bit more glowy during the winter when it's a little dull. Um, and I really love to create rosy cheeks as you can see. I am not afraid of blush. I love to look a little bit more flushed. I like adding color to my face, almost kind of like I just came out from the cold. I love that like rosy cheek look. So, um, and I love it just as much when I'm tanned in the summer. So I got the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula and you can get this at the drugstore. So this is how it looks. And I love that it's a little bit like, there's some sheen in it, so it, it's a little glittery. It's not like you're gonna have like glittery cheeks, but it has that nice fresh glow, if that makes sense. Um, and this is in the color Beachy Peach. Um, so I just wanted to kind of like refresh the, the blush vibe. I feel like I've just kind of been sticking to like really the same things, which is not a bad thing. I generally use the same things on my face every day, but I just kind of wanted to mix it up and I've always loved Physicians Formula, so I love coming back to brands that I've loved in the past but I just haven't used in a while. So that was a fun little drugstore pickup. And then, super cute, my husband, he got me um, just like a mix of 
cute little small things for Christmas um, and we generally don't do like Christmas gifts but I guess he just wanted to give me a little something and he checked out one of my gift guides on my blog and he picked up uh, this little buxom lipstick it's a it's a bomb um, this is in the color glowing he knows I love nude lips and I just love how like chunky and big it is but it actually um, like plumps up your lips so it is a bomb but it's got a little tint to it. Um, so I have been loving this from Buxom. And I thought it was just really cute that he went on my gift guide and picked that out. And then um, these Kylie glosses. Uh, however you feel about the Kardashians or the Jenners or whatever, you can't deny they do really good um, makeup, especially Kylie with her lips. I have her other uh, lip kit, um, the matte lip liquid lip on my lips right now um, and then these are the glosses because I've never tried out the glosses I've always used her liquid lips that are more matte um, and I love a gloss especially if you have like thinner lips I think it's just so nice I'm gonna actually add some to like the center of my lip here and it just kind of I just put it on in the middle and I love how it just kind of like adds a little sheen there um, I love that sound too, it's like ASMR. Do you guys like ASMR? Am I the only weird one that likes ASMR? Love it. Anyways, but I picked this up during her Black Friday sale and it was like a set of four. These are my two favorites. So this color is Diva, the high gloss in Diva, and this one is Blow Me Away. So it's kind of like one without the glitter and then one with glitter. But I've just been loving these. Um, and I like them paired together love a good gloss. So I normally go and get my nails done at a salon um, and don't do my own nail polish. The reason for that being is that I'm always taking photos or having my hands in shots for creating content. So I kind of always need them done and nail polish just chips on me all the time. It just doesn't last. So I usually have like gels um, or like shellac on. But for my toes, I love a good um, Essie polish and this is in the color what color is this oh it's right here take me to thread and it's kind of like a nice like mauve color and I love this on my toes especially for January I didn't want something super colorful but I didn't want something dark and dull or just like a nude I wanted a little bit of color and this was like the perfect like it's like a cloudy purple is what I would call it so I'm really liking this and I think it would look really nice on the nails as well. I usually do nude, kind of boring like that. But sometimes I get a little design or um, mix it up. Maybe I'll be more colorful in 2020, we'll see. Lastly for beauty stuff, something not as glamorous is um, I've been loving these 3M Next Care Acne Absorbing Covers. They just absorb the oil, so if you have like Sorry to be very graphic, but if you have like a pimple that's just not, I hate seeing a whitehead, so I will always just get rid of that. That's me, but sometimes there's like excess oil or sometimes I don't want to irritate it. So I'll just put one of these on a spot at night and it'll just kind of like absorb the oil and it's crazy, you can kind of, I'm weird, I like seeing results, like those blackhead strips, I love seeing that on it. I'm so weird, I love to like inspect it and yeah, I'm just, I have like really gross kind of obsessions like that where I just like love to analyze it. So um, I love seeing the oil on it in the morning that it's just like absorbed and then you can put like a spot treatment on during the day. But I've just found that this is really nice and it just helps my urge to squeeze any breakout. So another drugstore find right here that I have been loving. So next favorite of mine is, are these uh, blue like glasses. And I'm gonna try to not have my ring light totally reflect because they like have like the blue reflection. But basically these are used for um, like you can use it during the day or the night and they're blue light glasses so they block the blue light, UV light, um, so that you don't just strain your eyes as much. I look at the screen a lot for my computer, my phone, for my job, or even just watching TV in the evening when the lights are more dim you're straining your eyes to watch things. So um, because I have a lot of screen time, I invested in these guys and they're just so chic. I love them. They've got like kind of like a leopard look. This is the key uh, Desi Perkins. And then 
I also picked up a, another pair because I just loved like the larger lens. Um, when I was at Nordstrom, I found these guys um, and they're kind of like bigger. They kind of feel a little bit more nerdy or they're really dirty. I need to clean them, uh, but I love, love, love. They're also tortoiseshell. I love tortoiseshell for um, like sunglasses and glasses as a frame. I just think it like goes well with um, like my hair color and my eyebrows and that kind of thing. So. Um, these two have been really, really nice, and I've noticed that I haven't like had. I used to get like eye twitches a lot, just from like straining my eyes looking at the screen. Um, so I feel like that's been reduced a ton since using these, and they're just super cute. Next, let's get into fashion. So, um, kind of more casual starting out uh, first. Actually, I think all my fashion picks are a little casual. But um, if you have resolved to work out more, maybe start a yoga practice or that kind of thing, then you're probably like, I need some cute workout wear. So this is actually an aloe yoga tank, um, and I've got the same one in kind of like the same color. This is so funny, but the nail polish totally matches this tank top. But they're these tanks, uh, Razorback tanks, and they have built-in built -in little bra, um, and they're ribbed but they're just such good quality. I feel like they're so flattering on, even just like with jeans and like a cardigan that I'm wearing right now, um, or with your yoga leggings, workout shorts, whatever. Um, they're just so lovely. Um, they're a little pricey. So I did get this one. I think I got this on sale when it was the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but sometimes they do um, have sales um, either on Nordstrom or on their own website. So check it out, but I love this brand. So it's called Aloe. Um, and yeah, I just find like, I like wearing workout tops or that kind of thing, even just like at home or going out just cause they're comfortable and I love something with a built-in bra. It's like instant purchase because if I don't have to wear a bra, I am so happy. So anyways, that has been one of my favorites. Again, I'm wearing it um, in this kind of like dusty rose color as well. And then another fashion uh, love of mine right now, I just actually got this in the mail, so I have not even tried it on yet, but I am definitely going to be slipping into it. It's the Smash and Test um, and Carol Radswell collaboration um, and it's this beautiful if you don't know smash and test they're made in Canada love them they have like just the comfiest coziest like rompers and loungewear um, and it's it's like loungewear that still feels polished so even like this cute little cardigan like I would wear this out um, but it's mainly just to like hang out at home kind of thing so I would just wear like a tank top even like something like this underneath and then they sent me the matching pants so they're like these really cute, beautiful material lounge pants. Um, and it's just like a little bit more polished and chic for lounging at home. I lounge at home in like a t-shirt, baggy t-shirt from like, you know, 2004 from like middle school or whatever and just <laughs> wear that till it's done. Like I think I still had a Backstreet Boys t-shirt from the concert in 1997. Yes, I'm turning 30 this year. So I was a Backstreet Boy BSB fan. And I think I just got rid of that like maybe a year ago. So I will wear those to shreds. But sometimes, you know, you're hanging out at home or you're having someone over, but it's still casual and you still wanna be a little bit more polished in loungewear. This is the kind of thing um, that I like to wear. So I am so excited to bust that out um, and wear it more this season and going into spring. I think it's just, it's so my color. I love like camels and like creams and beiges and that kind of thing. So it just feels chic. Um, and if you guys remember, she was on The Real Housewives of New York. Um, if you guys watched that, if not, you know, I don't know, I just love I love brain vacation television shows, you know, when you don't have to think and it's just funny and ridiculous. So, um, but yeah, she used to be on that show. So anyways, it's just fun that they collaborated with a Canadian company um, that I've known and loved for a while now. So yeah, that is that. Speaking of Canadian, I got a package from Aritzia that I ordered. P.S. I just like love Aritzia bags. How cute is this? It's a wet dog and some roses. They like bathed the puppy in the sink. 
I'm obsessed with that. Um, but I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so I ordered the TNA Super Puff because I wanted a really high shine black puffer. And this is the original length or the regular length. I think I prefer the cropped one a little better. I think it's just a little bit more chic. I'm not sure. I'm kind of still deciding on this one. But if you live in Canada, it's still going to be cold for a few more months. So I wanted something that I could just wear on casual days with like black leggings. I'd wear like a black like sweater or tee um, and like some Nike running shoes um, and like cute little aviators, wear it out to the gym, wear it out for errands, going grocery shopping, whatever that kind of thing. But something that's just a little bit more edgy. Edgy, we're getting edgy out here. Um, but I just feel like I have like really long parkas or I have like like shorter like bomber jackets, but I don't have like a puffer that is um, of like a shorter length that's in a black. I actually don't own any coats that are black. Yeah, they're usually like cream, brown, I've got a lot of dusty rose, beige, that kind of thing, but I never, I never get a black coat. That We gotta change that. Like, that's such a classic thing that you need to have in your closet. So, anyways, I just thought for casual days. It was either this or the really shiny silver one. I'm kind of obsessed, and Neil has a Nike one. So I was like, oh my gosh, we could twin it. You know? Matching, family matching jacket. Is that cheesy? Probably. But um, yeah, so I'm kind of still undecided on that one. Um, I do think it's cute and I like it, but I do think that the cropped one would be just a little bit more cuter. I don't know, still deciding. Last two things and they are in home, which you guys know, I love home decor and mixing things up. If you look behind me, this is actually our studio space um, where I'm gonna be filming like YouTube videos and um, we also have like right over here is where we film uh, and record our podcast, which is launching. It might've already launched if this has gone up, maybe not yet, but um, follow us, Jolly Ever After Podcast on Instagram for the update. Um, but yeah, so I just love like mixing things up. Right now I'm really into hats on walls. I'll show you guys how I did this um, and a few other things in another video coming up. But I love to always kind of like switch things up, add some new accents for the next season. And so I have been searching for a pillow like this, like a round cushion pillow that has pom-poms. I just, it feels super bohemian and I just think it's like, super cute anything with pom-poms I'm pretty much sold um, and I got this from H&M home so there is um, there's tons of pom-pom pills if you go on like Etsy if you go on anthropology you'll find them but they're usually like over a hundred this I believe I got two for a hundred so it was 45 Canadian each I'm I think it's like 35 US um, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box as always but so much cheaper than the other um, ones that I've seen and I've kind of had on my list, but I just can't justify like $100 for a pillow. So I'm so glad that I found these. And usually if something's like really trendy or popular, sorry for all the dust if you're seeing it, chances are um, it's gonna come out in a more affordable way. You just have to wait a little bit, sometimes like HomeSense or um, what is it called? It's called Home Goods in the US. Like they'll come out with it a little bit um, later. Um, and sometimes you're just done with the trend by then. Uh, but in this case, I'm still obsessed with it and clearly it's still a thing. So um, yeah, I'm excited to add these to our couch. You can even just like style them on the floor as cute floor pillows. But um, yeah, I just, I think they're so cute. So I got that. That's one of my fave home decor pieces. And then I actually got this for myself. I gifted this to myself because these are not cheapo blankets. The Barefoot Dreams Leopard. Um, it's like, I mean, guys, I don't know how to describe it to you. It's just the softest. It's thick. This blanket is my little comfort. Like it really is a comfort blanket. Um, and they're not cheap, but they are such good quality and the material is just like the softest. I really wish you could just touch this so that you could see for yourself. Um, but I'm just in love with this and I love that it's like a neutral leopard. So it still looks really cute, like laying it out on our bed or on our couch, that kind of thing. But just it's the snuggliest thing in the winter, especially 
just to like cuddle up with it. I love it. So uh, they also have like a brown and a beige one. I think they have a gray and black one. So there's different colors in this, but um, I managed to snag it on sale. I think it was 30% off on Nordstrom. So I'll see if um, they have it, but usually if you, around July, around the Nordstrom anniversary sale or like Black Friday deals, that kind of thing, it'll come out and sometimes you can catch it on sale. So I recommend this one greatly, but yes, it is a little bit more pricey, but I would argue that it is worth the uh, heavy price tag. All right, guys, that is it. Those are some of my January faves. I am so excited to just be getting into the swing of things and creating more video content on here for you guys. Let me know in the comments below, what do you wanna see in 2020 from me on my YouTube page? We've done a lot of travel in the past. If you haven't checked that out, we have a ton of like, you know, great travel vlogs that you can see as like resources if you're planning some 2020 trips and want to get ideas of like where to stay, where to go, where to eat. But then um, I just kind of want to do everyday life with you guys. So showing home stuff, organization, we can do more try on hauls, tutorials. Um, but I just want to give you guys more value on this channel in 2020. So let me know in the comments below. Did you like this video? Do you want to see more of these kind of favorites videos? If there's something else you'd like to see from me, let me know. I think an updated closet tour video is in the works as well. That definitely needs to happen because we filmed that a few years ago. So, um, and I have just like some newer things and just some changes up in that room. So, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you guys think, what you want to see. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.